Hi, this is Roman, and today we're going to be going over Unit 7 on circles, Day 24, A New Way to Measure Angles, Part 2. Our focus question here is how can we solve problems based on comparisons of radian measures and degree measures? And this question is really screaming for a problem strings activity uh, with that word comparisons. I'm going to be focusing on slide 13 here. Um, as my formative assessment question um, to build the problem string activity. So again, I will be utilizing Desmos. As I click Desmos, I'm clicking Browse Activities, and I will be clicking Custom to create a brand new one, and I will name this activity uh, Problem Strings um, Activity. So as it loads, I have a, a bare bones sample of the New Visions template for um, problem strings. And I'll include this link as a sample as well. So I'm gonna ask this, this first uh, set of questions here. Um, how are the equations the same and how are they different? Uh, just as an introduction. And what I wanna get here is a comparison of the two formulas. So I'm putting in another box and I'm gonna say that uh, if, by the way, if I click type math and I type in theta, I can get theta here. If theta is measured in degrees, then, and again, I'm gonna click the type math here, the area of a sector is going to be, I like how that's coming out, so we might, we might wanna use text for our text option there. The area of a sector is going to equal and again we could just type in theta to get theta or theta over 360 or central angle over 360 if we want pi you could just write pi and then r squared right and then my second comparison will be so let's call that our first equation um, we could say if theta is measured in radians I'm going to copy and paste for time purposes. Then the area of our sector is going to have a different formula. And in this case, again, I'm going to click type math. It's going to be one half r squared and theta. And again, all you have to do is write the word theta to get that uh, symbol there. So this could be the introduction. Um, you're going to click text input, and that will give students an opportunity to write their response. And here's a preview of what it looks like on their screen. From here, I'm going to include our formative assessment question. So I am going to click sketch, actually. And I am going to find my image by clicking custom image. I already have my screenshots. So there is our question. And I am going to do one more of those for our image. And again, this is great because it allows students to annotate and mark up the diagram. So if I preview here, I'm allowing students to mark up this diagram and work. Um, some of you guys might not like this right here, that it's taking so much space. So as an alternative, let's show what else you could do here. If I put text input, excuse me, not text input, I'm going to want to put a note in there. Um, I'm going to go back to our lesson and I'm going to copy and paste the question. And we'll notice everything's not going to po uh, copy and paste, right? So we could type our math in here and uh, where we had five pi over six, we can make sure that is there correctly. Um, and let's see, we had the length of arc AB became BA is 2 pi. And it looks like almost everything else saved and we would just add the question. And that might be a much more uh, suitable view for your student. So let's see what that looks like. If I delete now, that might be a nicer view for your students. Also, we're dealing with area of sector here. So it might make sense for you to click your activity on the top left and click enable scientific calculator. So now students have their graphic calculator to use as they do this question. 
So this is going to be um, what we use to create our problem strings, right? We want students to take three minutes to four minutes and solve this question as a formative assessment. And then if I go down to my problem string activity, I want them to answer these questions. So I want to provide two correct answers. And I want to ask them, um, what is the same for solving the area of the given sector for these two different model exemplars that are showing different methods to get to the right answer? And then we also want to include what are the revisions or additions that they might choose to include. And this is great for students to do it correctly because maybe they don't have revisions, but they might have an addition to their knowledge by showing them that different model exemplar. So for time purposes, I have created the model exemplars. And this is another trick you could use in Desmos. I'm going to copy that whole slide. And I could just paste it right in there. And again, here's a sample of what it looks like on a student screen. Um, there are modifications you can make to this. So let's say you feel like this is very busy here. You got two different uh, text boxes for solutions. You can choose to modify it. And I include the modifications here. So here's one sample. Um, I could just have one question and as I preview it, right, students have the question up top and there's only one text box. Um, and then you could follow up with a slide for the next question. And again, for time purposes, I made that slide. So when you have this activity and you copy and paste it, you could use which one you feel is suitable or a better template for your students. Now, if this can happen organically, that would be the goal. And I'm going to show a sample of student work here. So uh, this is a class that I've had, right? As you do your lesson and you see student work, you can click this little camera button here, right? And I'm going to click it for two students. And if I go to snapshots, I could just drag and drop these snapshots in, right? So if they weren't in, um, I see they're already in here. I could just drag and drop them in and then if I go back to our questions here, right? What revisions or additions as a sample of a question? We could ask it and then we could present it to our students in real time. And we have real model exemplars from students who might want to speak on their work and compare and contrast. So that would be an amazing goal to have. And uh, if we take a look at these, this model here, after giving students a chance uh, to analyze those model exemplars and speak to the revisions or additions that they might want, uh, you want to include some practice so I have a regions question that I was going to include for practice. Um, again, I'm clicking the sketch option and I'm clicking custom image. And from here, I'm going down and I'm going to add a regions question for them. Again, beauty of using the sketch option instead of the media option. Um, you might want students to be able to mark up this diagram or possibly highlight important factors that they feel help them solve the question. And you could see all their work there. They get to choose whether they want to use the text, the math option, or so on. And then last but not least, we're going to use these reflection prompts um, and allow students to reflect. Um, believe I got all of it. I'm going to make sure here. Um, I know that, uh, yeah, the, the routine has the option for students to pick a prompt. So here are my two prompts. When solving for the area of a sector, and we have these blanks here, um, blank using the blank is important to remember because, so here we're asking students to fill in those blanks or another way to ask this prompt is paying attention to what when solving um, area of a sector is helpful because of what. And this really allows them to reflect on their learning and see what they got out of the lesson. And again, here, what I'm going to do is I am going to put text input and let students respond um, to those options. Uh, we don't actually need that space. So when solving area of a sector using the blank method, so let them fill in that method for that first one. I hope you guys found this useful and you will see the links to um, the new visions, bare bones template and this Desmos activity. Um, I'm actually going to publish it and really quickly just let you guys know that click these three dots right here and click copy and edit to make it your own.